What is up guys? I'm going to show you guys a basic rockfish rig today. You can buy them at the store and they're just pretty much two dropper loops with swivels at the end. I'm going to show you how to make your own right now so that way you guys don't have to keep spending money on these dropper loops. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find a place that you can buy the shrimp flies that normally come on this thing. Um, you can get them off the internet. I'll put a link down in the description where I get mine from. I just ordered them off Amazon and they come in like a 10 or 20 pack and I have these guys instead of having to buy multiples of the $3 setups that are pretty much just this or be the same thing with just those two hooks I just showed you. So what you're going to need is your fishing pole and then you're going to need about a six foot to eight foot piece of leader. You're going to come down about a foot from your swivel or your knot that you tied it for your, uh, from your braid to your leader and you're going to create a dropper loop. Once you create that dropper loop, you're going to come down about another foot to two feet, create another dropper loop. Do one more. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be big because all it's for is the weight. All right, so now I have pretty much three dropper loops. All right, for demonstrations, these are gonna be closer than I would normally have just so they're all in the frame. You have your top one. You're gonna take your hook, you're gonna pinch it, slide that through. You can use just a regular hook as well. You don't need to have these shrimp flies. I recommend these shrimp flies in case you're gonna be tipping them with squid, let's say, and they pick the squid off, you still have this shrimp fly. Even if you're using anchovies or sardines, you still have this shrimp fly there if it gets picked off. Same thing if you're using live squid, you can do the same thing if you're bottom fishing. You can do that twice, because you're allowed to have two hooks here in California. Your tiny girth hitch for that. Hold that on. So now I have my two hooks. Super simple, right? And then the bottom, instead of having a swivel, you can tie a swivel if you'd like, but I just do a dropper loop. Cut that tag end in real life. And then do a girth hitch on my weight as well. Do that dropper loop. So for my line itself, now I have pretty much what you'd buy at the store. You'd spend a couple bucks on, three, four bucks. I just did for way cheaper by being able to reuse these multiple times. These hooks don't go bad after one time. If you've bought one before and you have all the stuff, now you can tie your own. After one trip, usually the line's destroyed, but you still have the hooks and stuff like that that are good for multiple trips. So for my line itself, I'm using anywhere from 25 to 40 pound test. Usually that 30, 30 pound test is where I like to stick. I feel like it's the best. I can still break it off if need be. If I get a snag, I'm not having to cut my braid. Um, and 30 pounds, pretty easy to break off. And then for my weight, I'm going anywhere from four to ounces to about a pound, depending on how deep I'm fishing. If I'm fishing shallow and that 40 to 60 feet of water off the kelp beds or something like that on you know, my kayak, I can get away with four ounces to six ounces. If I'm on a charter boat in Southern California, with the new depth restriction, I might even have to go all the way up to two pounds. They can fish above 400 feet now. Uh, or as deep as 400 feet and deeper. So that one pound weight that I usually use down there is probably not gonna be enough, um, especially on the days that the current's ripping. And those are usually the days the bite's really good, but you're probably gonna have to go up to two pounds on that. So just carry an assortment of weights. If you're going offshore, just ask them at the, at the shop there where the boats are going out, hey, how deep are we gonna be fishing? How much weight are we gonna be uh, using? And they'll clue you in. I usually have an assortment of 12 ounces and 16 ounce weights. Um, on me when I'm out there just in case you only need one or two It's pretty rare that you break off out there and for the hooks So if I'm gonna be using these shrimp flies I like to go anywhere from a, a four aught to a seven aught hook and that's gonna be you know Still a big enough hook for if I'm getting link on and stuff like that that they're not getting all the way up onto the line itself and uh, making that a You know teeth chewing through that and lose fish that way So I like to use at least the four aught if not a seven aught hook for my hook selection for these guys. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm hoping this video helped you guys and get out there and catch some new fish. But if you want some more advanced techniques beyond this basic setup, watch this video right here. And if you need to know how to tie any of these knots, this video right here is going to help you out. Make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you guys out on the water. Tight lines.